Hello there and welcome. So today I learned how to use the PowerPoint to record uh, videos. I thought I was going to do something that I really love reading books. And so I'm going to share with you 11 reasons why you should read more. Obviously, I know you may be reading, but perhaps not as much as you should as I should myself. So we are going to go through these reasons. Some of them, you know, some of them, you are going to find them as interesting. Some of them, like I mentioned early on, you may have been aware of it. So let's get right into it the first reason why you should read is that it stimulates your mind and exercises your brain reading is to your brain what exercises to your muscle and with all forms of muscles if you don't exercise your biceps and triceps you are going to lose your strength and they are going to diminish and like they say if you don't use it you lose it and so it's very important for you to read because the only way to exercise your brain or stimulate your mind is for you to read and it helps you to even delay or prevent conditions such as dementia and studies have proven that once you keep your mind active and 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 sharp it prevents it from losing power so if you are looking to have an active mind sharp and not be losing your brain power anytime soon make sure you read and once you read you begin to increase the, your the sharpness of your brain and this is very important when it comes to staying alert and having a sharp mind to do your work so keep learning never stop every day find ways of learning new things new techniques new words everything that comes up make sure you absorb new information into your brain the second reason why you should learn is that sorry you should read is that it improves your knowledge and you see, I say that 90% of our problems can be blamed on ignorance. The reason why you are suffering or you are going through the challenge, most challenges, is because of what you don't know. And what you don't know may be in the book that you never read. And you see, people have lived years and years before us. And there was nothing new under the sun, as Solomon said in the book of Ecclesiastes. And it is very true because... Everything that you are going through, someone has lived maybe in 1947, 1948, 1962, 1842. The person had lived and went through the same challenge as you are going through. And that person might have written the answers to those challenges in a book. So all you have to do is to keep reading. And you are going to pick knowledge from people who have lived long before us. Books are being written every day. Books will be written even as I'm talking to you. People are writing books and solutions are being propounded for different challenges. What we need to do is to how to find them and so that it will aid us in avoiding some of the mistakes they made and then living a better life. So whatever you read goes into your brain and fills your mind with new form of information and you never know when you are going to need this information. So remember you have to read to gain knowledge. And one last thing I have to tell you is this. You can lose your job, you can lose your, your relationship, you can lose your money, you can lose all your possessions, but no one can take knowledge away from you. Like Warren Buffett said, they don't tax what is in your head, so invest in your mind. The third reason why you should read is this, and I love this, better communication. You are going to gain um, a greater number of vocabulary, you are going to learn new words, and I have this to say, the moment you open your mouth, the moment you open your mouth, you tell the world who you are. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs that even a fool, when he is quiet, is perceived as a wise man. What this is means is that if you haven't spoken, nobody knows who you are. People would take you to be a wise person or maybe you are a cool, calm person. But the moment you, you begin to speak, that is when you tell the world who you are. So it is very important that you master your communication, that you begin to be someone who is articulate can make a point and get people to side or agree to your your point or you can understand and communicate your ideas to people in a manner in which they can also understand it so it is very important if you don't develop your vocabulary level and you don't communicate or articulate your thoughts well for people to understand it is going to be very difficult for you to build meaningful relationship to succeed in any profession that you get you go into so you need to read to build vocabulary and to be better at communication so reason number four why you should read it improve your focus and concentration we live in such an internet 
sorry an internet craze word as i'm sitting here i am itching to grab my phone because i'm i'm hope i'm thinking someone has sent me a message or something like that and that is what happens throughout the day for every five minutes window you get your attention is drawn in a million different ways you want to check twitter you want to send a message on whatsapp you want to go on facebook you want to check instagram reply to emails and you jump from one app to the other and this affects our productivity for young people because we think we are busy we think that business doesn't mean we are productive and but when you are reading you have to immerse yourself in the whole thing and this requires concentration and focus because you have to be here you have your eyes your mind the, everything has to be in the book and once that happens it develops your concentration and improves your focus and if you want to translate this into your daily activities then reading is something very important to help you do just that the next reason why you should read is that you become a better writer me as a writer i've written six books my seventh book is on the way and um, i have become good at writing only because i have read a lot of books if you are not, if you don't want to read or if you are not a reader you can't be a writer the frequent exposure to other authors books and their writing styles and their the, the, the fluidity of their writing gives me an idea of my own style and i begin to learn from them and i develop my own style from their work obviously they influence my my work even if i i won't really admit it the way i write is because of the books i've read the people I have admired and the writers whose work have influenced me as a writer and this is the f and this is the same with all forms of artwork like musicians and painters they all take inspiration from other people and the way they do or perform their art so if you want to be a writer then you have to start reading start early start young every habit can be built once you begin early enough and so if you want your kids to love reading it is very important that you start getting them to read from the beginning i was exposed to books at such an early age that i have become accustomed to them and research shows that children who have repeatedly been exposed to books from bed as a bit strong reading abilities and this is not rocket science the more you see something the more you have something in your hand you read every day you are going to love it compared to somebody who is watching tv all the time and they say the average american or the average person around the world spends two hours a day watching tv and if you didn't do that and if i spend three hours a day reading then obviously my habit will be love reading all the time so it is very important that you start early and you start at a young age another reason why you should read is that it improves your self-discipline reading is not a simple task as everyone would like to think and i know even for me at, as a reader uh, it's sometimes very difficult to pick a book from the shelves and say i am reading it requires time concentration and even you need to motivate yourself to be able to do that and sometimes i wake up and i don't want to read but i bring myself to do it it takes effort and as i continue to do that i get the discipline to get things done whether i feel like doing it or not and so it is very important that you read and because as you read you begin to improve your self-discipline and you begin to understand that once something is important to you you do it regardless of how you feel and that is what reading does to you the next reason why you should read is it improves academic performance throughout my best basic school education high school college postgraduates now i have maintained a consistent average or consistent grade as an excellent student very good or at least good with all the subjects that i've taken because i read and you need to read to understand and there's a correlation between your ability to read and your understanding which leads to academic performance so you need to understand that so much of schooling relies on your ability to read and if you can't read even if even if it is mathematics you are not going to do well because you need to read to understand and that is something very important if you want your kids you yourself want to do well academically you need to cultivate the habits of reading and this is obviously related to the point i just talked about reading improves your child's probability of staying in school 
and the reason why people left school when I was in, in, in basic school or even high school was that they couldn't perform well academically and so they, they just lost interest and went to pursue their dreams in other ways so it's very important to understand that once you read and it's you, the child is doing well in school they would want to stay in school and, and finish it and so it's very important that you get people to read if you're a student you read that is the only way you would gain the interest the enthusiasm to finish your education which is very important reading will make you a better leader reading makes you a very great leader and like they say all readers are leaders all readers like they say sorry all readers are not leaders but all leaders are readers so if you intend to lead in any area of your life if you want to impact other people if you want to lead in any position you need to understand that reading is a way for you to be a good leader like I mentioned I read about Thomas Jefferson Benjamin Franklin Barack Obama and all the, the people we have out there who have done great things and are still doing great things Martin Luther King jr. and you take inspiration from what they did with their lives and it gives you an idea of how you also can impact other people or leave a positive trademark in the in the world or in your lifetime so if you want to become a better leader not just in organizations or in countries or groups but even for yourself because you have yourself to lead first you need to read to learn from those who have lived before you and how they live their lives you take inspiration from them put them all together and then put it into your own life and practice them reading will let you dream big Bill said one of the reasons for his achievements is because he had the opportunity to read a lot of books when he was young and these books give birth to his dreams i love reading different genres but biographies are my best benjamin benjamin franklin is i keep mentioning his name because i've read his books tens of times and i, I read about his his stories his accomplishments his whole life when you read stories of those who have made great impacts it inspires you to do the same if you read stories of those who have accomplished much it inspires you to do the same and if i read about elon musk bill gates steve jobs i look at myself and ask myself what can i do and this begin to bet dreams in my mind and that is what led to me writing my facebook becoming your dream my facebook becoming your dream came out of reading and reading about what others have done and thinking about them becoming their dreams and i thought this is how i want to live my life and it all came from reading so it's very important that you read and this is an important reason why i keep reading all the time because i need to be i need to get a spark from other people who have lived incredible lives so i try to emulate it and fashion my life in such a way that i would also leave a trail and not go and not go on the well-worn paths here's my mentor george rear and i thank him very much because he started bringing me books all the way from the united states to ghana he would come to ghana from the u.s and all i would request from him is a book and he would come with a box full of books and i kept reading and reading and here's the reason why i developed the habit to read and i love it and i love him for it thank you george rear this is for you so if you enjoyed this video leave a comment down there i know it was quite a bit lengthy but this is for you this is to show you or give you some reasons why you should read and like i said i'm going to do another video on how and on how to build a habit or the habit of reading and also another video on the techniques of reading maybe i'll share with you what i use to read a lot of books and you can pick from it and also some books i think you should read before you turn 30 i call them 30 books to read before 30 and it's an incredible list i'm going to record those two videos within the week and you should have it by the weekend please don't forget to subscribe to this channel right here yeah the right the red button here and then click on the bell icon so you can get notifications once i upload a video if there's something else that you want me to talk about when it's, it comes to books if you want to write your own book or you need help publishing your books on amazon i'm your guy thank you so much for sticking by and see you on the next video.